Hey guys, this is Norm from Tested.com and today we'll be testing two keyboards from Microsoft. The first keyboard here is the Microsoft Sidewinder X4. Now Microsoft released the Sidewinder X6 about a year and a half ago and this is the little brother. It's a cheaper version. It's uh, $60 at retail but I think you can find it right now for $50. And unlike the X6, the X4 has a fixed numpad. The X6, if you recall, you could take it off and plug it either side. Um, but otherwise, it's very similar. A lot of macro keys here on the side. Uh, there's a calculator button. Uh, what it doesn't have is the jog dials that the X6 has, which I kind of miss. I really like the jog dials. But what it does have is this anti-ghosting feature. So if you're typing, you can actually hit as many keys as you want on the keyboard, and it won't break the keyboard. And all the keys will go through your computer. It'll be just fine. Um, I used the keyboard for about a week, and I really liked it. What I didn't like was the if you notice here, the wrist pad here is really, it's really rigid and it's kind of short, so it doesn't protect your wrist, you'll need to have an extra wrist pad. Um, but the keys are really low profile and they're a lot like a, a notebook keyboard. Um, and if you're a fast typer, it's really good. Um, gaming, the macro keys worked out really well. It only comes in one color backlit, it's only red, so unlike a SciTech keyboard, you can't change the blue or green. But it's a, it's a fairly good keyboard. It's $20 cheaper than the Microsoft X6 keyboard. I don't think that makes up for you know, the, the features they take out, because I really like the job dial and the removable numpad, so you might be better off finding the X6 keyboard at a lower price or going with a Logitech G15. The other keyboard we're testing today is the Microsoft Arc keyboard. Microsoft released an Arc mouse about a year ago, and this is the same design. It's uh, very sleek. Um, definitely a keyboard where they focus more on the aesthetics than the functionality. Um, you see it comes in this case because apparently it really attracts a lot of smudges. So if you take a look at it right now, um, there is no numpad. It's a portable wireless keyboard. Uh, the D-pad is actually a rocker key, so you can only press one, you can only one direction at one time. Um, there's only one Windows key, and the function keys up here uh, kind of double double up. So F1 to F6, or also, also F7 to F12. Um, but the wireless receiver is really small, and it goes in the back, and it magnetizes there, and it takes two AAA batteries. Um, and what we'll do is, um, I'll use this for the rest of the day and we'll see how smudged up it is. So now we're back after a full day of use and you know what? It's pretty smudged up. We'll bring it in closer for you to give a, get a better look. Um, it's a nice portable keyboard, but because there's no touchpad, you can't move your mouse with it. d pads a little weird. I don't really see using this on a couch for your HTPC. I don't know who it's really for unless it's not, it's not very portable and you can't put it in a laptop bag. Um, if you like the aesthetics, it's a good keyboard, but at $60, I'd say, you know, go buy another keyboard. So there you have it. That's the Microsoft Sidewinder X4 and the Microsoft Art keyboard. We're actually going to be giving away these keyboards to you. Uh, what you want to do is sign up for our Twitter feed. That's at twitter.com forward slash testedcom. Or on Facebook, friend us at facebook.com forward slash testedcom. If you sign up for both of those, you'll get two chances to win. Uh, sorry, U.S. residents only.